Alrighty, today we're having a look at an application of our use of indices, and it's called scientific notation. Um, so when we use scientific notation, it's a shorthand or a, um, a simpler way uh, to write very large or very small numbers. So let's say I take the population of Australia. I'm going to say it's approximately 26 million... 384,506 uh, people. Now, census is coming up next week, so we might be able to get a better answer than that. But um, if you were to estimate that population, you might say that is approximately 26 million. Or you might say it's approximately 26.4 million. And again, those are approximations. We're not saying that these digits here, these very small digits, don't matter. But what we're saying, these 506 people, these ones, relative to 26, 26 and a half million, they're not significant. So what we are really doing here is rounding off um, our number to a certain number of um, what we call significant figures. And we'll look at um, that in the next video. But a scientific notation here, the, the, the formula of how we write that is very simple. Um, we would stop and say uh, that's 2.6. Now, um, this process always involves us writing down our first, what we call significant figure. So our first non-zero. Then we write a decimal point, always. So it will never be 26 point something, it will always be 2.6 uh, in this case. Um, and I'm going to call it 2.64 times 10 to the power of something. Now we're always, always using powers of 10 for scientific notation because a power of 10 um, simply moves my decimal place to the left or to the right. And obviously if I have a positive power, um, that is equivalent to a multiplication, so that would be for very large numbers. Um, and for very small numbers, I would have a negative power because, of course, that's equivalent to a division. So I've got 2.64 times 10 to the power of, well, my decimal point started here. It's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So it's 2.64 times 10 to the power of 7. Now, what I would say is that is in scientific notation. And the other way, the other thing I'd say is that is to three significant figures. Don't worry too much about that one for now. All that means is that I've got, it's almost like rounding to a certain number of decimal places, but we can do it for very uh, big or very small numbers as well. So these two often go hand in hand. This is this part here and here. That's our scientific notation. How many digits we actually write is our significant figures. Uh, let's look at a couple of examples. So I'm going to write these ones in scientific notation. I've got 0 0.00314. Okay, well that would be same formula. First non-zero. Okay, that, or the non-zero that is on the left here. Um, so it would be this 3. That's my first non-zero. So I'd write three point, always the first digit, then decimal point, then the other digits that follow it. Um, I've moved my decimal place once, twice, three, four times. So it's going to be 10 to the power of minus four. Now, as I said before, if we have a very large number, we're going to have a positive power. But if I have a very small number, I'm going to have a negative power because the other way I could write that is um, 1 over 10 to the power of 4, which is essentially like dividing by 10 to the power of 4 um, to make my 3.14 back into its smaller 0 0.000314 equivalent. Um, so if we have ever dealing with a very large number, you're going to have 10 to the power of a positive number. Um, very small digits, 0, 0.000 something, uh, we're going to have a negative power involved. Uh, what if I've got something like this? 
516,000. Well, I would say 5.16 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the power of 5. Again, you'll notice first digit, then my decimal point, then the other digits that are left um, times 10 to the power of whatever number of decimal places I've had to move to go from where it started to where it ends up. Let's go one more. Okay, 0 0.000501. Well, in this case, my first non-zero is a 5. I'll write down 5.01. Uh, now, this zero that is in between here, that is what we call, a, it's a significant zero. Okay, it means that that zero actually changes the value of my number if I don't include it. So because that is in between two other significant digits, well, then we actually have to include that as well. As always, we use a power of 10. Now it's going to be a negative power. And to work out what that power is, I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My decimal place has moved 5 times. So it'll be 10 to the power of negative 5. Of course, very small, very small number here. So that means my power will be negative. Very large number here means my power will be positive. Let's go the other way here. If I've got 7.31 times 10 to the power of 6, and I want to write that in um, non-scientific notation or standard notation, I'm going to start by writing it as 7.31, and I'm going to put some zeros here. Now, the reason I put those zeros to the right is because I have a positive power. It means that this is a very large number. Now, 10 to the power of 6 means 1 million. Um, so this is really 7.31 million. So what I need to do is go and move my decimal place six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times to the right. So my answer would be 7.31. Zero, 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 zero. Now, of course, my decimal place falls there, but I don't need to write that. And if we look at it, this would represent 7,310,000. Um, so we're dealing with a very large number there. Um, let's look at a, an equivalent with a very small number. 1.98 times 10 to the power of minus 4. And again, I want to get that into standard notation. Well, this time I'm actually going to put some zeros before my first significant figure. Now, the reason I have done that is because I know this is a negative power. I have a very small digit. My decimal place is going to have to move to the left to make my number smaller. And that's why I've put these, these zeros here to the left. Once you get familiar with this notation, you probably won't even need to take this middle step but it's, it's a good idea whilst you're practicing. Um, so I'll move it once, two, three, four times. So I'm going to write 0 0.123198. And you could check this. You could go and say if I moved it once, twice, three, four times back, well, yes, I would end up with this 1.98 times 10 to the negative 4. That is my number in standard non-scientific notation. Um, and we're all good. Um, check out the video on significant figures as well because those two really do go hand in hand.